Canadian Broadcasting Corporation reporter Don Pittis says, CV-19 may be the catalyst, not the cause of a painful, but useful economic transformation. Retailers go broke, property and oil fall, but maybe the economic pain will speed beneficial changes. Beneficial change. How stupid do they think we are? Can't you see how we are being conned into collaborating in our own destruction? The mass media is responsible for spreading this scandemic. Therefore, it is significant that a month ago a senior CBC reporter, Don Pittis, actually referenced the satanic dogma. According to the theory of creative destruction, derived by Austrian economist Joseph Schumpeter in 1942, from ideas proposed by Karl Marx, economic and technological progress demands that businesses must die and industries and paradigms must be swept away to make room for new ones. Karl Marx, the father of communism, was a Kabbalist and a Satanist. Creative destruction is the same Satanist rationale they use for starting devastating wars. Clearly, the hidden agenda behind this scandemic is social and economic change. Thanks to Satanists controlling the banking system, society is under relentless satanic attack and are satanically possessed. Creative destruction explains why humanity is cursed by never-ending catastrophes. These are engineered by the Illuminati to attack and destroy anything that smacks of the healthy divine order, spiritual or natural. They must destroy the old order before they can install their Satanist tyranny. This behind the current scandemic. People like Don Pittis, who are sympathetic to Satanism, permeate our body politic like a cancer. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. The Kabbalist doctrine of destruction provides a key to understanding world events. According to the Kabbalah, which is the secret doctrine of Judaism and Freemasonry, evil and catastrophe are endemic factors in the process of creation. Without evil, there could be no good, without destruction, creation could not take place. Kabbalah, An Introduction to Jewish Mysticism, by Byron L. Sherwin, page 72. Kabbalists believe the old Christian order must be ruthlessly destroyed before the new satanic world order, based on the Kabbalah, can be built. Hence, the Illuminati motto. Order out of chaos. Hence, the Communist Manifesto advocates the destruction of nation, religion, and family, and the transfer of all private wealth to the Illuminati bankers, in the guise of the state. The doctrine of destruction explains why war and revolution have been characterized by gratuitous genocide, terror and destruction. It explains the banishment of God from public discourse and the widespread acceptance of obscenity, pornography, and the occult. It explains the attack on gender and the promotion of homosexuality to heterosexuals. It explains the spate of false flag terror that is a hallmark of modern life. The present-day Illuminati grew out of the satanic Sabbatian Frankist Jewish heresy in the 17th and 18th centuries. The bankers and half the Jews of Europe adopted this pestilence and spread it to the Gentile elites through Freemasonry. Thus, Illuminati Jews characterize the Jewish role in terms of the destruction of civilization. For example, in the book entitled, You Gentiles, 1924, Maurice Samuel writes. In everything, we are destroyers, even in the instruments of destruction to which we turn for relief. We Jews, we, the destroyers, will remain the destroyers forever. Nothing that you will do will meet our needs and demands. We will forever destroy because we want a world of our own. In 1928, Marcus Ravage, a Jewish Rothschild biographer, wrote an essay entitled, The Real Case Against the Jews. You have not begun to appreciate the real depth of our guilt. We are intruders. We are disturbers. We are subverters. We have taken your natural world, your ideals, your destiny, and played havoc with them. We have been at the bottom, not merely of the latest Great War, but of nearly all your wars, not only of the Russian, but of every other major revolution in your history. We have brought discord and confusion and frustration into your personal and public life. We are still doing it. No one can tell how long we shall go on doing it. Most Jews and liberals or leftists in general are unaware of this Kabbalistic plot. They have been duped by spurious appeals to ideals of social justice and equality. Religio means, to go within, in other words, to know and obey God. In any true religion, God comprises absolute spiritual ideals, love, truth, justice, goodness, beauty, harmony, pure and unalloyed. God is nothing if not moral, that is, good. Evil is the absence of God, just as darkness is the absence of light. The Kabbalah says, God is unknowable, and has no form. This is Satanism. You cannot obey God if you cannot know him. 
To the Kabbalist, God is an infinite sea of being, without any limit, hence without any qualities, without desire or will of any kind. He is totally incomprehensible. By Jacob Angus, The Meaning of Jewish History, 1963, page 286. In fact, God is perfection, the form necessary for human evolution. Be ye therefore perfect, as your God in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5, verse 48. True religion assumes God is present in the human soul. Obeying this voice, conscience is what makes us human. Anyone who denies the existence of God is a Satanist, not an atheist. The Kabbalah is satanic because it says evil is part of God. God has two sides, both are essentially one thing, what we experience as evil, is as divine as what we experience as good. Hence the expression gaming currency today. It's all good. This is very contrary to the word of God in the holy book. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. James 1, verse 17. In the Quran chapter 4, verse 79, God said, what comes to you of good, is from Allah, but what comes to you of evil, O man, is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Muhammad, to the people, as a messenger, and sufficient is Allah as witness. Many texts in the Kabbalah, including the Zohar, say that the task is not to destroy evil, but to return it to its source, to include the left within the right, in the Zaharic metaphor, to uplift the fallen sparks in the Lurianic one. In Shabbat Hasidism, it is stated that evil exists as part of the divine revelation itself. Indeed, to think that evil really is separate from God is, itself, the essence of evil, which is precisely the illusion of separation. Letting go of the reality of separate evil, and really accepting that the Sitra Kra, or impurity, occult, evil, is a side of divinity, is easy on paper and very difficult in reality. Still, to the extent it is possible to do so, the notion is indeed life-changing. Everything is a flavor of divinity. Kabbalists also believe in redemption through sin, in other words, deliberately flaunting the old law, by doing evil, for example, adultery, incest, pedophilia. The destruction of civilization, or chaos, will provoke the return of the Messiah, or the Antichrist, who will rebuild the world, according to Kabbalist specifications, with the Illuminati bankers playing God. This is all Satanism. God is inherently good. In a true religion, you do not obey God by doing evil, or by pretending evil is part of God. Call it Illuminism, Secularism, Luciferianism, Humanism, Paganism, or the Occult. It's all Kabbalah. Modern Western civilization has no moral legitimacy, and no future, because it is based on a rebellion against God, who represents the path of our spiritual development. Humanity had been hijacked by psychopaths, intent on destroying the old order, and building a bizarre, solipsistic, violent, depraved dystopia in its place. These psychopaths control our government's credit and mass media. Thus, they are able to purchase our leaders and dupe society into embracing its own downfall. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.